Hello! Many people are interested in knowing how to test their website using Telnet, but their website has been upgraded to HTTPS or to Secure Socket, and Telnet no longer works. So here is what it looks like if you try to test a web server and you've already upgraded to a secure website. Normally you would type Telnet and then the name of the host and port number 80 because that is the port number for a non-secure website and then you type in the command, the HTTP command you want, which in this case is get and the host name that you want. You have to press enter twice and you'll look here that this website has been configured properly to redirect the user to a secure location. You see here we have a status of 301 and the location is HTTPS www.barefruit.org. Now I'll just tell you that if I were to try the same command but use port 443, I would be talking to the secure ser server and I would not get anything useful out of the matter because you cannot do clear text for a secure connection. So instead of using Telnet, you have to use a different tool. And on this blog post that I wrote some time ago, I basically give you exact instructions on how to do it. We're going to use the OpenSSL S client. Um, there's two tools you can use. This is the first one we'll use. And so here's an example of how to do it. Same command, we're going to type OpenSSL S client instead of Telnet. We're going to go to the website. We're going to specify port 443 because that's what a secure website uses. And then you're going to see, oops, spelled something wrong. Right, so you have to use a connect command. Now when I hit enter, we're going to see a lot of information scroll by. This is information about the SSL certificate. This can be very useful for debugging. For example, if you are talking to the wrong host. But we're going to ignore that. We're going to let it scroll by. And now what we're going to do is we're going to basically do the same thing. Now I'm going to hit enter twice. And this time the entire website went by. That did not, did not end the connection though. So I have to hit control D. Then I'm disconnected from the secure server. If you don't hit control D, it just stands there forever waiting for you. It used to be on some versions of OpenSSL that you did not have time for it to wait for you to type commands. And so if your SSL client, your S client, um, basically the moment you type something, it finishes, it gives you that done command, then you need to write out this part here, this get command and the host command and have it copied to your clipboard and ready to paste in. So the moment you connect, you've got about half a second that you can paste it in there and go. Now this is using the OpenSSL S client, but there is another client from the new project, the GNU project, that you can use called GNU TLS. And so you install that just like you would install um, something else, the OpenSSL client, and it's going to work the same way. So we're going to type GNU TLS. We do not need to specify the port number because we know it's 443, right? It's called new TLS client, uh, CLI. Same thing. We need to type in the, uh, the command we want. Enter twice. And that makes it scroll by. We can hit control D. So if you're used to testing your web server and you're used to using Telnet, but Telnet doesn't work because your server is secure, you now have two options. You have the OpenSSL S client, which is very readily available on just about every computer system. S client is a very common tool. Or if you are a GNU fan and you like to use GNU licensed software, the GNU TLS-CLI, I'll update this website. Go to barefruit.org and you'll see a blog post that has copy and paste instructions. I will have a link to this in the video description. Hope you enjoy it. Would you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and that way if I post more updates, you will find out about them. Thank you very much.